In this video, we'll look at n-particle render types. We'll be using the smoke effect I created in an earlier video. With my n-particle selected, I'm going to go to my attribute editor and find shading. Under the particle render type, we'll find a drop-down list where we can pick different render types for our n-particles. I will pick the first selection, multipoint. Let's try another one. How about multi-streak? I'm going to zoom in a bit so that we can see this a little better. Notice that there are a bunch of parameters that we can adjust to change the appearance of this multi-streak. I can make its tail longer or shorter. I can make it wider. One of the things I like about the multi-streak is that it really gives a strong sense of direction. The numeric selection will show us the unique number for each one of our particles. I recommend creating an n-particle system and changing the render types, exploring them, seeing what each one looks like. Notice as I explore these different particle render types that it is not in fact changing the behavior of these end particles. It's merely changing their appearance. It is not just the render type that makes our end particle system appear as smoke, it is also the end particle's behavior. Smoke tends to rise. Take a look at if I change some of the n-particle system's dynamic properties. I'm going to uncheck Ignore Solver Gravity. And now, my n-particle system is being affected by gravity. And if I select my Nucleus node and turn on Use Plane, the particles will collide with the plane. I'm going to make a few quick changes to my end particle system. These are really not all that important changes. I'm simply going to change the color of them and the size over time. I covered these techniques in my earlier video. What I actually want to show you is under the part the end particle system collisions. I can make some changes to my end particles here that will affect the way that they behave. I'm going to illustrate bounce. Currently it has no bounce on it, but if I increase the number on bounce, you'll notice that the end particles will bounce when they collide with the plane. And if I increase that value more, they'll bounce even higher. Anyway, that's a little bit about end particles and changing their appearance.